What's going on ladies and gentlemen? You can see me in the reflection, but we are here to unbox probably one of the most anticipated collector's edition 2015 has to offer and that is Fallout 4 the Pip-Boy edition now I'm sure a lot of you know this thing is very hard to get so when I was able to secure my copy I was more than thrilled um, I didn't even think I'd be able to get it but the way it worked out it just worked out so perfectly I was literally in the right place at the right time and there's nothing more I could say about that really so we are unboxing this and now as you guys know I already do have this game um, I was sent an advanced copy by Bethesda, and you guys are already enjoying gameplay, which is fantastic, but I still wanted to get this version of the game, and I still wanted to showcase it for you guys, because I'm a huge Fallout fan, I've been for many, many years now, and I, th I thought I'd love to add this to my collectible shelf, you know what I mean? And another thing about this is, I don't know if you guys knew, but the Pip-Boy in this, you, you don't need the Pip-Boy, of course, but you can use the app, there's a Fallout Pip-Boy app that you can download for your phone. And you could use it and integrate it with your with your game. And I tried it out the other night, and it works. So, like, I, I have Fallout 4 on PC, and this is also a PC copy of the game. But I had also uh, downloaded, uh, sorry, I, I brought open the app, and I'm like, how is it going to detect my PC? I don't have a wireless card or anything like that, because I find them useless in a, in a tower PC when you're just going to, uh, when you're just going to connect uh you know, wire, wired anyway, well, it detects your IP address, and it, it found it, and literally everything I did on my phone, it activated in-game. I was able to set, um, I was able to set, like, my, my routes, I was able to change my objectives, um, I was able to change my weapons, all sorts of things without even opening the Pip-Boy on screen. So with the fact that I have this version now, I can actually check my real Pip-Boy, and go wherever I need to go and do it while I'm playing and I think that's fantastic so I'm gonna stop babbling and we're gonna start opening this sucker so let me just get this reflective case off this is gonna fall my backdrop as I try and get this out so bear with me here guys okay so the protective slip cover is indeed off now uh, as you can see I don't know if I'll have any use for this but that is what it is now let's just see from what I can see they'll open this way like up front by pulling these tabs, I don't want to break it. Ah, there you go. Release the latch. She opens up. And in here you see the wonders of the Pip-Boy edition uh, made in China. Stay gold. <laughs> so right on top, we have our actual game. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out just to be safe. All right. And we also have... Oh! It does! I didn't know that! Well, I think. Hold on. We'll find. I'm not going to jump the gun just yet. Let me just make sure. Oh, it doesn't. That's me. Anyways. Okay, so. That was a troll. So right off the bat here, I'm going to show you the game disc. Steelbook case. Collector's Edition Steelbook. Looks very nice. Very nice indeed. You open it up. You've got your game disc off on the right. Now, this is what had me. It's like, oh, the season pass! What is it? Is it a season pass? Nope. It's an ad for it. That's one thing that I wished uh, they did was include the season pass in this edition. It's so damn rare and everything, you'd think they'd hook you up, but, well, they don't. So, it's just an ad for the season pass. But yeah, so you still have to spend another $40 or $50 or whatever the season pass for this is on uh, the DLC that's coming out. And the thing is, I want to do the DLC, so I'll be getting this regardless. It just would have been nice to have. But they also have the uh, an ad for Doom, which I can't wait for, and Dishonored 2, which should be interesting as well. And then you have the Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel Unlimited, which is the console version of the Elder Scrolls Online. So that's that. So that's the ad. Oops, sorry. That is an ad there. Now let's see what else we have in this, in this thing. We do, and now I'm pretty sure everybody got this. And I'll showcase it. This is the poster, which represents your uh, perks. Now, if you guys have been watching or you've played this yourself, I'm sure you know exactly where this is from. But it's a little poster that depicts all of the vault tech uh, perks in the game that you can get based on your skills. And I already have a few of these, but like seeing the full map kind of gives me an idea of what's to come. And I'll probably be finding a little frame for this and putting it up on the wall because I I want a vault or uh, sorry a Fallout poster. I thought this would be a little bit bigger, but it isn't. But that's okay. And on the bottom it says Vault Life has its perks. <laughs> that's brilliant. The new perk system is different. It's more. It makes a lot of sense, and I have no problems with it. 
So that's that's something good as well. So this game, and as well, I'll just show you on the other side of the disc. You also have the um, the power armor that's ha ha that has been hung up in a warehouse that they they you know in the teaser trailer or whatever they had that there. That's what that is. That's behind the, the disc. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my stuff back. And there's one other thing before we get into the actual Pip Boy itself. There's one other thing that's in here that I'd like to take a look at. I'll just pop that next to it so you guys can kind of see it. Uh, right on the top, we have a, a couple things. First off, we have a Vault Dweller Survival Guide, condensed edition. Let me just look. Basically, these are just your controls and liabilities and whatnot. Pretty generic. And underneath, we have instructions on how to use the Pip Boy in question. So a couple of things here, what you can do with it, uh, how you can literally use everything in this thing for the game. And I think that's so cool. See, obviously, here's your phone. So I'm going to pull this Pip-Boy out and let's take a look. Enough, enough babbling. All right, so here is the Pip-Boy itself. It's got its little uh, case. Or Whoa! Oops, sorry about that. What is this? I think this is just to keep it... Uh, contained. This just looks like... Wait. Oh! These are foam rings. Uh, check it out. It, for iPhone 5, 5S, use both foam rings. iPhone 6, use outer foam ring only. So yeah, this is your phone holder. So if we pop this out... Oops! Lots of stuff here. Lots of stuff here. iPhone 6. See, they have a bunch of phone uh, types here. So we have iPhone 6 with the SS5. Uh, we have iPhone 5 5s. So this is what we're going to be doing right here. I'm gonna. I have the 5s. So I'm gonna take this one, and we're going to also take a look at what kind of phones we have here. This is Galaxy S4. We don't need that. Um, this looks like another Samsung. Yeah, Galaxy S3 and iPhone 4. And here we have the 5s. Use both phone rings. What? Why do I need both? Oh, I get it. Okay, I, I understand. So if I take my phone out, but okay, you know, before we do that, let's just pull this out. Let's let's do this one step at a time. All right, so we, here we have the vault, or not the vault tech, sorry, the Robco stand that, that you could perch it on. Uh, there's a couple of things. I'm going to move this big case for you guys so you can kind of take a look at it better. So I'm going to close this up. Collectible vault tech case. We'll put that to the side, and we'll get a little bit of action here. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Straighten this backdrop out of mine. Gets a little, uh, little crazy during unboxing times. <laughs> Alright, so there's that and we'll have the disc there as well. So I'm just going to maybe slide it over just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so uh, I'm going to give you guys a, a little presentation of it. Just so you can see. This is how I'm probably going to get it to sit. I don't, is that how it sits? I, I, no, you know what, I think this actually has to come off. You lift the flap. All right, so there's tons of stuff here. I didn't. I don't know what to. I don't know how this thing. Does it just sit like that? Yeah, it looks good from here. It looks like it sits nice. That's probably just how you. It just sits in the middle. Hmm. But we're here to check it out. So I'm going to attempt to get my stuff going uh, in a minute here. I'm going to pull out whatever I need to pull out. I'm not sure how it totally works, but we're going to kind of figure that out as we go. Try. I'm just kind of pressing buttons. It's got a nice little foam pad. I don't know what that does. What did I just do? All right, I'm gonna figure this out and we'll be back and hopefully my phone will be up and running here, so bear with me. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you with my very own Pip-Boy. Now, I'm gonna explain a couple of things as I was setting this thing up. Um, Hello there, you can see me. Um, right now, the Pip-Boy is set to my settings. Now, I, like I said, I tried this out yesterday, and it worked perfectly, and, you know, you can control everything from your arm by, like, this, you know what I mean? So I can go, my inventory, and it's got a glimpse of all the weapons that I've been using. My If I go to data, and we check, you know, my, these are my current quests right now, so uh, those are actual re legitimate. Now, here's the thing. You've got a power button. But it's just for show. Like, I think I actually broke it. 
by accident. Like, I, I'm sorry, I can't twist my arm all that far. Maybe I should take it off. I'll take it off and show you what I'm talking about. One thing as well that I'll mention, taking it off is a bitch. See this? It won't declasp. There you go. This is stupid. Like if you have an arm that's like my size, you want to tighten it, right? So it stays on. There's a little strap here. Look at this. Like that's, you can't get your fingers in here to hide this. You just have to seal it. Um, so if I take this off, God, I gotta let my arm breathe. That's a, that's a lot of weight to put on your arm. Um, and I'll show you guys this properly. One minute while I just tuck. Oh my God, it's so annoying. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to seal this up. Bam. Okay, so we have the Pip-Boy sealed. Now, I was messing around with it, looking at what I, what these things do, and I pushed this in, thinking it was a button. I push it, and it goes inside. So I think I broke that by accident. This dial does rotate for your radio stations, but it doesn't really do anything. This is just a random knob. I think this is just for fun like really I don't think it actually does anything you actually have to touch the screen whenever you want to use your pip boy so I mean it's cool but I don't think it'd be very practical for use with the game you know what I mean it's very meant for this pop it on the stand walk away show that you're cool and that's about it so I don't know man uh, I'm a little disappointed with the build quality considering I think I broke it um, I'm not 100% sure though, I mean, I don't see a way to bring that Sumbi back in. It, it just, it's all dependent, I guess, but, um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's for what it is, though, I mean, I can't believe, and here's the thing, I, I had a little discussion in one of my uh, follow-up videos, and I do this from, you guys should know, if you, if you do uh, watch my content, you'll know that, oh, this fell out, that's supposed to be in there, that's supposed to cover this up, whatever, um, but if you guys watch my stuff, you'll know that I like to start I like to start discussions as I'm walking from point A to point B because there's not a whole lot to do. So I'll usually start a discussion, and I mentioned how uh, EB Games, uh, GameStop, they're getting these Pip Boy editions again, but they're charging like an additional 80 US dollars or something ridiculous like that. So um, I don't know exactly how much that like this was in US dollars. It was about a hundred and I think 150 Canadian or something when I got it, something like 160, I think. Um, so when I think about it, the US one was probably about 120, I think. And uh, so if they're adding an additional like 80 bucks, this could be 200 US dollars or 190 US dollars or something like that. Not 100% sure on that one. But that's ridiculous, man. Come on, just for the, like I see these things going for a grand on eBay. But you could tell it's like, I think, like I said, I think I accidentally broke that thinking it was a button. Um, but yeah, like other than that, I don't know what else to say I mean it's definitely a cool collectible and I'm happy about it that way but for using it with the game I don't think that's gonna be happening I mean that looks pretty dope and that's pretty cool how that works but I don't know bruh I don't know bruh you know what I mean it is what it is so anyways I guess that's all we have I'm like this like I said you think you think it'd be useful but it literally doesn't do anything it looks like it does but it doesn't all the power does is turn that on like I look there's no uh, like this button like, see if I, I that powers it on. I actually actually push the button in. Sorry, I'm, I'm not showing you. This is a button, but I can't get to it anymore. You see that? It's inside the hole. It, it fell in, just like this one. So, my advice to you guys, don't bother using this. Because it's just not going to do you any good. Just plop it on your collectible stand. And call it a damn day, pretty much. Uh, but I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else in the Pip-Boy edition. Um, you'd think that, like I said, I really, really wish there was a collector's edition version. Uh, but you know what? There's only so much you can do, only so many mulligans you can take, and that's just not one of them. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, favorite the video as well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll be seeing you guys for some more gameplay, I hope you I hope you're enjoying it so far, and for, and you know more unboxings, what have you. Got plenty of games coming out in this in this time, so it's gonna be pretty epic. So thanks again, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one.
and we'll see you in the next one. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, on these violent and hit you eight thousand. Wait a minute, hold that style, style, Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, see shots flying, so we driving by your back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters try to run with us. They gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the Vader players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get light sabered. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers Just press play, I'll keep it moving Who is Knox? Still you damn fools Keep it fresh like canned food There ain't nothing we can't do So tune into that damn Q Yeah It was never, ever A game